Yeah? Hello, I'm Bill Young. Nancy is home? Yes, she said someone was coming by. Come in. I'm uh, Nancy's father. Thank you. Have a seat. Well, young man, I understand you intend to take out my daughter. I'd hope to, sir. Do I know your father? I imagine so, sir. He has his own accounting firm up in the Weldon building. Hmm. What does he do in the church? Well, he used to be the second counselor in the bishopric, sir. But they released him when we moved here. Hi, Bill. Daddy. Nancy? Has Daddy kept you entertained, Bill? Oh, I'll say. <laughs> I'll bet. Daddy used to be a United States district attorney, and everyone who comes to take me out gets cross-examined. Shall we go? Oh, Bill. I'd like you to write your name and phone number on this piece of paper. Oh, Daddy. Also, the address of the place you and Nancy are going, and your estimated time of returning. Good night, Daddy. Good night, sir. Good night, Bill. Have a good time, you two. Believe it or not, her father made me sign for it, just like a library book. <laughs> That's not all. When I took her home, he was waiting on the porch for her. And I shook her hand, and he took her in. <laughs> I could stay here and finish my junior and senior years at State, but everyone says Eastern's a far better university when it comes to their upper division science. And there's not much of a choice to be made, is there? Well, it means I'll be living away from home, and I won't be able to see you like I want to. We both agreed your education came first. Well, of course, if I do go to Eastern, I'll have to get a job. I can't expect Mom and Dad to put me through school, especially when I could stay here and finish college with you. Well, at least if you're working, I won't have to worry about you taking all those other college girls out. The girls at Easter? Why, Nancy, they're all dragons. That's Dragon Bell, USA. Dear Nancy, it seems like such a long time ago that I wrote you that I'm almost ashamed of myself. But then Eastern is so different from what State College was. The whole atmosphere is different here. Oh, there is one interesting thing I'll have to tell you about. On Fridays, Professor Bartlett, you know, that sociology professor I told you about in my last letter, he invites some of us over to his apartment to discuss all kinds of things, politics, religion, world affairs, philosophy, and evolution, and things like that. It's really been fascinating. We talk about things that I've never even given a thought to before. And frankly, I never realized until now how sheltered I've been. I thought I was pretty sophisticated until I was asked to join this discussion group. They don't pull any punches. I'm the only Mormon that's been invited. And I'll tell you, when it comes to religion, I've had some real defending to do. I don't know. He keeps coming back to that. Yes, song. but I don't know. Well, that's the way I look at it. How can you say that? How can you even propose such a thing? There's nothing wrong with a proposal uh, like that. that. Oh, oh, here's a new book. Thank you. Now, uh, what's all this disputation about? Well, we were just discussing some of the aspects of Mormon culture with Bill. Oh, yes, a very interesting phenomenon in the Mormon church. You know that most of their kids go on a church mission for two years? And they do this for free. That's true. And not only do they expect them to spend two years as unpaid missionaries, they don't even preach to the heathens. They preach to the rest of the world, 
people who already have religions of their own. Is that right, Bill? Well, yes. You have a peculiar church all around, haven't you, men? I mean, I don't understand the connections between your religious beliefs and all these restrictions you Mormons have on what you should eat and drink. It's archaic. The idea that a man must restrain himself from the pleasures of food and drink, the relaxing effects of a before-dinner cocktail. Well, there are some other religions that have health codes. It isn't only the Mormons. Of course, there are modifying forces at work. I'm sure Bill knows Mormons who have abandoned these ideas. And it's possible that the church will eventually modify its stand in this regard. I've been thrown into a real daze by all of this. I've tried to defend the church, but the whole group makes me feel so uninformed, so naive that it isn't funny. I'll tell you truthfully, Nan, I'm not so sure of the church as I once was. Forget the Institute Social Friday after the game. Let's see if we can't get every LDS kid in school to come out. That's all. Brother Wagner? Yes? May I speak to you for a moment? Surely, Nancy. What is it? It's my... this boy I know. He transferred to Eastern University. And... well, he just doesn't sound like the same boy I knew. What do you mean? Just this. I'll tell you truthfully, Nan. I'm not so sure of the church as I once was. I think he's losing his testimony, Brother Wagner. And I don't know what to do about it. Do you know if he attends church regularly? I don't really know. We don't have an LDS Institute of Religion at Eastern. I don't believe we have a Deseret Club there either. What's a Deseret Club? When we don't have enough LDS students at a university or college to have an institute of religion, we sometimes start a Deseret Club. This is so the Mormon students can meet together and keep in touch with the church. I'll tell you what, the next time he comes to town, why don't you have him drop by and see me? I may not be able to help him, but I'd at least like to talk to him. All right, I'd appreciate that. Thank you, Brother Wagner. You're welcome, Nancy. Bill! <coughs> it's so good to see you. So we see. Oh, Mr. Sheffield, how are you? Well, as well as can be expected for a man starving to death on Thanksgiving Day. Bill, I waited and waited for your call. I thought you'd be home last night. Well, I had to wait for a ride to finish an exam. And we got off a little late. But we hurried as fast as we could, though. Are we still going to the game? State versus Eastern? You bet. Well, if you like, I have a couple of extra tickets on the winning side. Well, I didn't know you were an Eastern supporter, sir. Eastern? Why, son, Eastern University never fielded a team in their whole existence that could equal state's water boys. Wait till you hear the score. <laughs> it was California 13, Oregon 12. And closer to home, Eastern University 28, State College 3. Now let's return to dance time and... I'll never forget to look on Daddy's face. He was so certain state would win. It's been wonderful, man. If only days like this could go on forever. Nancy, there's something I'd like to try and tell you. You're usually pretty good at saying what you think. Go ahead, I'll listen. I've missed you while I've been away. More than you'll ever know. I missed you too, Bill. I... I don't ever want to be away from you again. You mean you're going to stay here and finish college next semester? Well, I think you know what I mean. It begins with... I love you. And I want to be with you. I don't want to be with anyone else. Nancy, I just can't be happy without you. I think you did real well, Bill Young. This means you'll marry me? Yes, that's what it means. And that's all there is to it? No, that's just the beginning. We have to decide when, where, and how we're going to live. There are a million things like that. 
And then you've got to ask Daddy. Ask Daddy? For my hand in marriage, silly. Oh, yeah. He would expect that. Mrs. William Young. You know, I've always wanted to get married on the same day as we go to the temple. Do you think we could? Well, I thought we might not go to the temple just yet, Nancy. Not go to the temple? What do you mean? I'm just not sure anymore. Not sure about what? Well, before I go to the temple, there are a lot of questions I need someone to answer. I don't want to make those promises if I just don't believe. Don't believe? I didn't mean that exactly. I've always believed in the church. But while I've been away, I've done a lot of thinking. I'm just not as sure as I once was. All my life I've been taught that I should be married in the temple. I won't be married any other way. But I love you, Nancy. If you loved me, you wouldn't be talking like this. But you don't seem to understand. I want to believe, but I just can't. Then I don't think we even ought to be discussing marriage. Bill, why don't you talk to your father or your bishop or someone? I know. You could talk to Brother Wagner. He's terrific. I bet he could tell us what to do. Who? Brother Wagner. He's the new instructor over at the Institute. I don't have to talk to anyone. Besides, Dr. Bartlett told us in sociology we should rely upon ourselves for our decisions. That way we become self-reliant. Oh, for heaven's sake. You mean that man you're always quoting in your letters told you that? He's a very brilliant man. So is Brother Wagner. I'll bet. The least you could do is talk to him. Thank you for a very pleasant evening, Mr. Young. Good night. Well, wait. I'll walk you to the door. No, I'd rather you didn't. I'm self-reliant, too. I know. You could talk to Brother Wagner. He's terrific. I bet he could tell us what to do. He's the new instructor over at the Institute. The least you could do is talk to him. Excuse me. Oh, I, excuse me. I guess I didn't hear you knock. Well, I didn't. I didn't get a chance to. Oh. Well, I'm Eldon Wagner. You're, uh... Bill Young. Now, is there anything wrong? Nothing much. I just want to get married. <laughs> I don't see anything wrong with that. I heartily recommend the institution. Actually, I'd like to marry a girl you teach here, Nancy Sheffield. But, well, she's all set for a temple marriage. And you're not? Well, no. I'm LDS, but... Well, don't you think it'd be all right if we were married first and then go to the temple for our endowments? Does Nancy think so, too? Well, no. It's just me, I suppose. But lately, I've had so many doubts about the church. There's nothing wrong with good, honest doubt. Almost everyone goes through a period of doubting at one time or another. The thing that's wrong is in not doing anything about the doubts. Like what? Are you attending your priesthood and sacrament meetings? Well, no, not exactly. The nearest branch to Eastern's about 15 miles away. It's difficult to get there. Bill, when a person is baptized, he covenants with the Lord that he will keep his commandments. Well, I haven't done anything so very wrong. I'm sure you haven't. But 
we've been commanded to do certain things. And when we neglect these, the Spirit of the Lord withdraws from us. That's when these doubts take over. That's why we advise college students to go to school where there's an institute. Then you have a chance to balance your academic training with close religious ties to your church. Do you think that's what's keeping me from being married in the temple? The main thing that keeps anyone from being married in the temple is oneself, their attitude. Have you talked this over with your bishop? No, I haven't. He's the one you really ought to take into your confidence. I'm sure he can advise you as to what to do. Life used to be so simple. Head. I didn't keep you up that late last night. Well, we didn't have anything planned until this afternoon. And besides, it's only 6.30. I did a lot of thinking last night. I think I've worked everything out. Do you still want to marry me? Yes, but I... No but. We can be married right away. I don't want to tell my folks because I don't want to go through all that business of explaining. I feel I have enough faith in you to know that you'll take me to the temple soon. And that everything will work out fine. But I want to be married today. Hi there. Can you kids tell us if there's a Mormon church in this town? Mm-hmm. Do you know where it is? Over there someplace. Where? Well, do you know where? Over there someplace. Where? We're getting nowhere fast. Do you know where the bishop lives? Yeah, right there. He's my father. <laughs> yes? Good morning. We, uh... Does the bishop live here? Yes, my husband's Bishop Scott. What can we do for you? We'd like to be married. Well, come in. The bishop's out back. I'll go get him. Thank you. Thank you. You know, you really ought to bring your parents into this. Don't you feel that they have a right to participate in your marriage plans? Yes, but my parents do approve of Bill. Still, your parents ought to be with you. They should be a part of your marriage. Excuse me for asking, but is there some reason why you've decided against a temple marriage? No, we just decided to delay it for a while, that's all. No, that's not right. We, well, I just felt that people shouldn't make any promises until they're sure. If you truly love each other, then there's only one kind of marriage for you. And that's temple marriage. If you're not sure of that, then any other kind of marriage should be the farthest thing from your mind. Bishop, if you refuse to marry us, would you please tell us where we could find a justice of the peace? Well, if you're still determined, I suppose it's better for me to perform the ceremony than a justice of the peace. I'll have to call Elmer down at the city hall and we'll make some arrangements. There are some papers that will have to be signed and we can work on those and cut some of the red tape.
Where to, Mrs. Young? I want to go home. This isn't all like I thought it would be. I want to tell my mother. But I thought this was supposed to be our honeymoon. Don't you want to go to Las Vegas, darling? No, I don't want to go anywhere. I want to go home. Now look, Nancy. This was mostly your idea. You called me. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't expect to be married like this. Well, I'm sorry too, Nancy. I didn't want us to start out. Watch out, you're off the road! Hello, Mr. Sheffield. How are you? As well as can be expected, considering this infernal telephone has destroyed another night's sleep. That's great, sir. May I please speak to Nancy? Oh, I suppose so. Just, oh, here she is now. Hello? Bill? You okay? Is something wrong with you? No, oh, I guess not. Oh, honey, you can't believe how relieved I am to hear your voice. I just had the most horrible nightmare. Can I come over and see you? Of course. Two minutes. Bye. I was frantic, Nancy. You can't believe the feeling I had. I didn't sleep much either. I really believe I prayed more than I slept. I don't know the exact answer, but I was hoping that between the two of us... I've been wrong, Nancy. I will marry you in the temple. I have to. If I were to ever lose you... Thank you, Bill. You know how much I care for you. 
But when you told me we couldn't be married in the temple, I... Well, there is one more thing. Yeah? I want to postpone everything for a while. And it isn't that I don't love you, because I do. But there are some questions I've got to answer first. Brother Wagner thought I should talk to my bishop and then strengthen my testimony. And I'll be coming back here again next semester. And then, will you wait? Of course I'll wait. 